welcome to day two of Teddy and Tangerine free tutorial. I'm hoping this is something that you can do with another member of your family or friend and it's just a fun little project. Um, we've got a nice cute little teddy bear and a lovely tangerine, two lovely little images that I associate with Christmas. And what we've done is we've already done the head so now we're going to paint the scarf and I've got a really nice quick way of doing the scarf so um, all you'll need is your HB pencil or just a nice sharp drawing pencil. If you've got it you, um, you can uh, use some colouring pencils, I've got some grey and I've also got some orange which would be quite useful, so a grey and orange colouring pencil. And then we've been using our very basic colours, so a blue um, a yellow and a red watercolour and you can just use a saucer to mix your colours, you don't need to have a proper palette and just a nice ordinary painting brush would be good. So all of the um, um, references that you need for this tutorial, the photograph and the, um, the materials list we will have available as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our um, little um, scarf and you won't see too much detail here but there is a slight weave to his little scarf and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw sorry I've got the wrong pencil we're going to draw them on with a colour grey pencil so we've got the outline and where, where it goes around his neck you can see this lovely um, grain going this way so draw lots of little lines in this direction really simple just going at little angles across there and then they're going into this little fold here and then we just change the direction just slightly for that little bit of the the ribbon and then around the edge I would draw a really hard line to get a nice crisp edge to his ribbon scarf and then another little line next to that this is why you need a nice sharp pencil and then do some little lines like this coming along to show the edge of the ribbon. Nice and easy. We don't need to do the top bit because that's hidden underneath his hairy chin. So now what we need to do is just do some nice little angles here to show how the knot works. So on this little bit here where it's wrapping around we can see the diagonals going this way. And on this bit up here, you can just make out the diagonals going this way. And on this little bit down here, they're going this way. And on the bit that's tucking in, we can have the diagonals going this way. So we're going to put those on as close as you can, nice and neat together. And if you need to turn your page around so that you can get a nice angle for doing those lines, then do. And then when we, when we come back, we'll show you how to start putting the shading on. lines then the next thing to do is to use your pencil to create some of the little curves where it's tucking in so what we're going to do here is just put a little line there and just very lightly shade for that little tuck we'll just do it in grey to start with so there's a nice little shadow down that side and you just use your brush uh, your, 
You just use your pencil very lightly and just shade little tiny strokes like that. And a, a lovely shadow just here where it's tucking in towards his tummy. And a nice little bit of shading in here. And in that little pleat there where it tucks in. So we're going to put some of the bigger shadow um, areas onto the little scarf using our pencil but just using it really close, the, all, making the marks really close together and just making a bigger area of colour. So just move it very, very slowly. Don't press really hard. We just want a nice shape to start with. So you're just going to work like that, make it a little bit bigger to make that shape across there. And then we're going to take it round and down alongside his chin. Once you've got the shape right, you can then press a little bit harder and get a little bit more colour from your pencil. And we're going to also do a little bit of shading just under his chin there, just so that the colour goes up and under his fur. Next thing you want to do is pick up a, an, an orange pencil and an orange pencil will give the, um, we're going to put the orange on where we're getting a bit of reflection from the tangerine because it's a nice shiny um, scarf, it's picking up a little bit of the tangerine colour. So we're just going to put that there and a little bit down here and a little bit along here. So we don't want lots of it and we don't want it to be really bright because we want to make our scarf look shiny. And I'm putting a little bit of orange here just where it's reflecting against his face. What I'm going to do here is just put a few little hints of orange into this shadow. But if you have a pink that would be even better. So if you've got a pinky red, something like that, we can use a little bit of this pinky red through this shadow here. Again, I'm using it really, really lightly. Be as light as you can. Just build up that lovely colour. A little bit of pink into the crease there and a little bit of pink against his face. You'll see that when you do this type of technique, you'll pick up a little bit of the tooth of the paper. That's the, the texture of the paper. And that's quite nice because it gives everything a lovely sort of cuddly, fluffy look. So I'm putting a little bit of pink down here and a little bit of pink there as well, just to complement the orange. Now our last thing that we're going to do is find a dark, um, a black pencil. So if you've got a black crayon or coloured pencil, you can use it, keeping it on its tiptoe. So right on its point, you can use that to get the really dark creases in his scarf. So just here where it's got knotted together, it's really, really dark in there. And we can just use the pencil just to shade, get a little bit of shading either side where his scarf knots in. And we can also make a little bit more sense of the knot down here. So just use it really lightly to start with if you're just doing the shading. And then when you get to the actual creases, you can actually use the pencil quite strong, but keep it right upright like that and that way you hopefully won't break your pencil top.
So the next thing we're going to do is use a bit of our watercolour. Now I've got yesterday's colour still on my palette, so it's a really good idea to clean your palette or your um, uh, saucer if you're using a saucer. And we're going to mix up a little bit of grey and we can use the same three colours. So we're going to use some blue, make a nice big puddle of it, not too big so it takes up the whole palette, but make a nice big splodge like that. Then add a really small amount of red, so just a tiny little bit of, bit of red and a tiny little bit of yellow. And keep adding the red and yellow until you end up with a nice grey, so it doesn't look blue anymore, it looks more like a grey colour. And you want to add it in really small amounts like that, so you hardly add anything. Now if you end up mixing brown again, what you want to do is just add a little bit more blue. Then what you want to do is water it all the way down and take some of the paint out of your brush so you haven't got too much paint on the tip of your brush. And then what we're going to do is use this to make some more shading on the scarf. And we're just going to use the tip of our brush and just put a little bit of colour, like so, onto Teddy's scarf. And where we've done the shading you'll see that it'll pick up some of the colours that we've already used and it will soften them together and make a really pretty colour. The next thing you want to do when you've put that colour on is just soften around the edge of it. So you can just soften next to that. <laughs> Make sure you've got your pencils out of the way. And you can also soften over the top of your coloured pencil. So where you've gone above with the stripes, you can just put a little bit of your soft grey over that. And that'll just make it look really nice. It'll sort of pull it all together. You've got to be really careful when you come to the knot part of the of Teddy's scarf because if you put a lot of water over your, um, your black that you've put on, it's going to smudge and go everywhere. So when you come to softening around the black, you just want to use the tiptoe of your brush and just very gently tap near and either side of it. So I'm picking up my little bit of grey on my brush. I'm tapping it on the dab pad so it's really lightly loaded and then I'm going to put it over Teddy's scarf down here and then over the shadow at the bottom and that all softens in quite nicely. Pick up a little bit of grey, gently go over the scarf and where you've got a really nice highlight, clean your brush and just put a bit of clean water over it so that you don't lose that light. So I'm just going to use clean water on this part of Teddy's scarf because I don't want to make it too complicated in here and lose all of my little detail. Just putting a little bit of water there now, just to soften between the neck and Teddy's chin so that you get a softer smush through there. Just put a little bit of softening on his face as well. So I'm picking up my grey again and I'm going to just put another little layer of grey onto his scarf where it tucks down in behind the tangerine and that'll give us a lovely bit of strong contrast there. Make the shine look a little bit shinier, but also um, tuck it into his tummy. And then what I've picked up on my brush, that little bit of grey, I'm just going to use that with the tip of my brush just to add a little bit of detail. But you don't have to, it's only if you've got the brush with the right amount of paint on. You can just use it just to add some more shadow here and there. One last thing, I'm going to just soften the edge here with a soft damp brush. Just catch the edge of that shine there so it's really nice and soft. So there we have it, that's Teddy's scarf. I hope you tune in tomorrow and then we're going to show you how to do a, the tangerine in some nice simple steps.